What is up guys, Rukakis here, and this is first impressions and gameplay of the AS Val, a new PDW added for the Engineer class in the second Assault DLC, out first for Xbox One and out at a later date for all other platforms. So let's get right into it with the overview and what I think about this gun. I really enjoy using this gun, I'm going to get that out of the way uh, first thing. and. If you're totally new to Battlefield, like uh, the AS Val has been in quite a few Battlefields, uh, I think since Bad Company 2, maybe even Bad Company 1. Bad Company 2 is a sniper rifle, so I don't know how it's not, it's now a PDW, but that's really uh, unimportant. It's just a video game. So if you're completely new and you want to know what the heck this gun is, it is a pre-silenced, basically assault rifle, and just shows up as a PDW. For the engineer and what I mean pre silence is that there is an internal suppressor that you cannot take off so there is no barrel attachments that you can put on so you cannot have you cannot put the uh, heavy barrel on because it would be a sniper uh, suppressor plus heavy barrel and you can't have that so it has a built-in silencer the disadvantage again you can't put any uh, attachments to do with barrels on the advantage is that it comes with a suppressor and you know a suppressor is a really good attachment to have keeps you off the radar lets you go on monster kill streaks if people don't pay attention to where you are and this gun as soon as you unlock it is going to have a suppressor so that is a huge advantage also accuracy excellent like really really good in fact I would say this is one of if not the best uh, engineer only gun at taking down guys at long range it's that's just what I think and because uh, it is so phenomenal at taking guys down long range the recoil again very 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 small and the suppressor since it's built in it reduces muzzle flash and muzzle flash kind of can hurt your aim since it's a built-in suppressor you basically get the advantage of having no muzzle flash as well which helps with your aim now the huge downside of this gun is that it has 20 rounds in a magazine which I'm sure you've already noticed by the gameplay and that does hurt because there is 100% going to be instances where you shoot a guy and then you're reloading and a second guy comes around the corner and kills you. Whereas if you had a gun with 30 rounds in a magazine or, you know, for the engineer guns, some of them like the P90 have 50 rounds in a magazine, you would be totally fine. So that is the disadvantage of this gun. Oh, another advantage that I forgot to mention is that since it's classified as a PDW now, the hip fire in this thing is disgusting. You're going to have really, really good hip fire. The stats aren't officially out, but I guarantee this has assault rifle like damage. It feels like 25 damage up close. It does not feel like a P90 22 damage or anything. Um, so I really do think it does 25 damage up close. It definitely feels like it at a distance. It doesn't take super long to kill people at distance either. So I don't think the drop off is, is too harsh. And basically this is an assault rifle with 20 rounds in a magazine. Um, that is somehow ended up in the engineer class with a silencer built in and that's basically what it is again really really good getting people at long range the built-in suppressor awesome the added hip fire bonus awesome 20 rounds not so awesome so i really do enjoy using this gun though you just got to get used to frequent re uh, reloads so hope you guys enjoy the video remember to rate comment and subscribe and as always have a good day